unboxing. So let's get started with the unboxing of the KDS A3. I'm gonna get the tape cut off here. Packaging for the A3, absolutely gorgeous packaging. Great job by KDS on the packaging. So uh, let's dive right into this and see what we got as we do our unboxing. I'll set that over here. First thing you'll notice here, we got the frame and uh, also the battery tray is right there. So we'll get the set that aside right there. And uh, I guess we'll start on this box right here. back and we'll move this over here so we can look at everything inside the box. All right. The first thing is going to be our our head here for our main blade grips. And uh, one of the nice features on this is it's got some markings on the on the blade grips here that are going to help you with uh, getting your um, blades uh, perfectly um, at zero. Uh, once you uh, get started on the head setup, and uh, that's really a nice feature for uh, for this helicopter this time around. So continued uh, parts of the head assembly. This right here is for working with the tail and be involved with the tail servos. Uh, this is a, this is a nice, interesting feature that KDS will be using here. These are our servo mounts here. You'll notice these studs that are right here. These are threaded studs, and you'll be able to take the screws that go into there and mount your servos in place. Uh, and they'll um, also mount to our uh, main shaft plate. And um, this is a nice touch by KDS to be able to have these studs here. And you'll be able to hard mount your uh, servos uh, directly to these uh, plates here. And it's a really nice feature uh, that KDS has included with this. Sit there right there. And here's our first reduction gear set up here. We got some ball links and screws. One of our belts here for the motor with the pinion. 19 tooth pinion on this one. This is our belt pulley. These are the arms for I'll go along with uh, the head here. This is the uh, belt uh, guide on the inside of the helicopter for the belt once it comes off of the uh, main pulley. This is uh, this is very interesting too, and we're very excited to be able to have this uh, with this heli, especially on the 360 size heli, to be able to have a battery tray. So uh, this is the mechanism we'll be used for the battery tray, and uh, that will be involved with that part there, and so. Uh, this is the battery tray set up here and a very unique mechanism there. We're excited to be able to have a battery tray, fast, quick in and out uh, for the batteries. This is uh, our tail uh, set up here, uh, tail assembly here and uh, all the parts that go along with that, the uh, tail shaft, uh, the pulley that goes on the inside of that. Also, there are some bearings that will be uh, needed to be seated here. Recommended that, that you use green Loctite on getting those bearings in place. And um, so there is our tail housing. Here is our anodized main shaft with some additional washers that will go along with that. This is the um, uh, holder for the uh, uh, down there on the, uh, the tail uh, push rod. Uh, there's the shaft for that. And these are the um, Canopy mounts here, they'll go inside of the frame here for the canopy. And this is our belt, main belt. This is the, um, uh, the holders for the tail boom, and you slide these on and uh, they'll hold the tail boom in place inside the frame. These are uh, our control rods that we'll, um, you'll be able to control the pitch with. 
nice uh, feature on these is they're threaded rods and they have a hole in the middle of those and you'll be able to tighten those in whichever direction you need to go and they'll be able to move the uh, uh, settings on the control horns uh, with this uh, which is a very unique setup. These are the mountings for the landing gear that will go uh, with our landing gear. This is the servo mounting plate uh, that we're talking about with uh, mounting the servos on. And here is our gear and one white bearing. And uh, we've got some washers here that will go on the side of the frame. And this is our tail assembly here. And we'll want to take this apart and uh, be sure and grease the uh, bearings that are on the inside of this and, um, and then reassemble that. Our arms, uh, washout arms for our head. It's our swash plate. You want to be sure and take the ball links out and uh, reinsert these ball links with some Loctite on there, red Loctite. Some main shaft plate here. And everything that's made of this. Uh, this is where the motor will go. Uh, you want to make sure as you uh, select a motor that you're going to be able to get a motor that will fit within this because the servos will go in this area here. And um, uh, so you'll want to make sure that you have a motor that will fit there. Uh, but I'll be using the uh, Scorpion uh, 1860 motor on this, more than enough power for this helicopter. And um, so it, they'll fit nicely in, uh, inside this. All right, that takes care of that box. All right, let's take a long box here and we'll save what we know is the canopy for the last box. And we'll get this box open. And a nice feature of this for uh, our tail boom. And these are our trays, our, our, the trays for the battery tray. And landing gear. And then uh, here's the um, push rod for the, um, the tail. All right, we'll set that here. And then last, but certainly not least, And we got our blade grips here. And we've got our canopy. And absolutely gorgeous canopy. Just gorgeous canopy. Very visible in the sky. And KDS will also um, be uh, have available uh, their KDS servos, the N20 uh, servos will be um, a part of this as well. And uh, I'll be using the KDS E bar, and uh, that is this right here. This is a tremendous fly bar system. It uh, does a great job. Some of the best pilots in the world have used this fly bar system, and so we'll be using the KDS E bar on this, and it just works fantastic with small helicopters all the way up to 700 size. It just works fantastic. So, uh, like I said, we're very excited to be able to uh, uh, bring to you the KDS A3 helicopter. And uh, you can see all the parts that are there. And uh, KDS has done their homework on this and um, a gorgeous uh, layout here of the parts that will go into the building of the KDS uh, A3. And uh, we'll be doing a, a build video with this in the future. But I did want to do the unboxing and uh, get to debut this helicopter. Thank you. And... Um, Hope you enjoyed the video.